Terrell. I gotta call Terrell. Come on, pick up. Everybody else have an emergency. Uh, I'm uh, stuck on railroad tracks right now. What are you doing on railroad tracks? Okay, all right, calm down, calm down. Now this is what I need you to do. I need you to take the telephone and put it by the engine. Wait, what? What do you want me to do? Just put the phone by the engine. All right, there, all right. Interrupting me on my shower day. Terrell Dactyl here, and today's how-to video is not going to be on a specific problem or a specific fix. We're just going to run over troubleshooting and things to look for on your tractor. Because there's so many different tractors that have so many different gadgets and electrical systems. So what I'm going to do is try to run through some basic stuff for you to look for and with this knowledge I give you and the knowledge that you have in your little tiny pea brain head, you'll be able to figure out how to maybe get your tractor working. So we got two tractors here with two different kind of blade engagements we're going to go over. This is a manual engagement where you have a lever to engage your blades. And then this here tractor here has got an electric clutch. So this has an electric clutch. So you have a knob, you pull to make the blades go on, okay? So, and then we're gonna run over some, some test tools and some stuff that you might wanna go and buy so you can do some tests and figure out how to get your tractor started, okay? Okay, first thing we're gonna go over is some tools, test tools you might wanna get. Now, this would be the most expensive tool to get, which would be a multimeter, which does, is kinda overwhelming for some people but if you know how to use a multimeter, this can come in handy because you can measure voltage and do continuity. The other simpler way would be to get one of these 12 volt test lights. So when you hook this to ground, this is Mr. Test Light. He's been in other videos before, right? Right, Mr. Test Light? That's right, Carol. You use me in a lot of videos. That's right, Mr. Test Light. So you hook him to ground, anywhere ground on the motor or go right to the battery. And then wherever you touch this probe, if there's 12 volts present, it's going to light up. Now this is a battery-powered continuity tester. This has got batteries in it. And what you're going to use this for is to test switches. You're going to test something that doesn't have 12 volts going to it. And if, it has, if the switch is working properly, when you touch this, it'll light up. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a switch. Here's a switch, basic switch two prongs. This is a normally closed switch, which means when I touch it, it lights up because it's closed. And when I push on it, that opens the circuit. Now it's open. So it goes, the light goes off. You ain't making a connection. That's what normally closed and normally open means. Now these are seat switches. This one's black, this one's gray. There is a difference, and you'll see. What switch is that, sports fans? You know what switch that is? That's normally open. Push it down, now it's closed, now it lights up. See this one here? Lights up right away. Closed. Now it's open, light goes off. So that's what that means. All right, this switch here is safety switch, which is used a lot for your brake pedal. 
and on a manually uh, operated blade they use this switch too on a lot of tractors. Not all. Remember this is just basic. So I usually test this the two terminals across from each other. See? Right there. Lights up when I push it in. Goes off when I when I let go of the plunger. Now here I go across these two. It's lit up. Goes off. So this switch does two things. One side's normally open, the other side's normally closed. Okay, one problem we see a lot of, and it's a simple problem, and it happens a lot, you know, we're not all Einstein. You get on the tractor, you're riding along, you're mowing, all of a sudden, oh, I'm going to stop, get something cold to drink, I'm hot and thirsty. So you turn off the tractor, you get off, you go get something, you come back, and all of a sudden you push down the pedal, you hit the key, nothing, it's dead. Why won't this thing start? It was running two minutes ago. You left the blade on. Same on this one here. Same thing. You just shut it off and you got this knob out. Even though you got the brake in, it ain't gonna start. Look at all the lights are blind. It ain't working. It was working before I stopped to get that cold drink. You left that blades on when you shut the key off. Because he's hot. He's probably uh, suffering from heat stroke. So that's a thing to look for. That's a problem to look for there. Another thing. These switches, like I explained before, the one for this, it could be bad. Now I'm going to get out my flashlight to show you. On this particular model, the switch is here. So there's the one for the foot. And then, Mr. Cameraman, if you can get up in here, here's the one for the blades. So you may have to look and see. Maybe that switch broke loose and it's just dangling there. But every tractor is different. So you're going to have to hunt down your switches. You're going to have to find out where the one is for the pedal and the one for here. That's a problem. Another one is the seat switch. Maybe the seat switch came off. Maybe it's dangling. Maybe it broke loose and you didn't know it. Tractor thinks you're not sitting on the seat, so it ain't going to start. Tractor thinks the pedal ain't down. Ain't going to start. Tractor thinks the blade's engaged. Ain't going to start. So those are three things you need to check on tractor if it don't start. Okay, we got Mr. Tesla here. You know Mr. Tesla. Hi, Carol. I'm ready to go to work. Okay, boy. I'm going to put you on the battery. So what you do, you get your test light, like I said before, you can put it anywhere to ground, anywhere you get ground. See, I'm going to stick it on this bolt for a second. See, it lights up. I'm going to stick it down here. Lights up. So that means I'm getting ground, but I like to go right to the battery. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, do, is the battery dead? Nope, battery's not dead. Okay, here's the fuse. Oh, I wonder if the fuse is bad. These plastic fuses got little tiny openings in the top. So you could st stick this down in there. See? Lights up. Should light up on both sides. If it didn't light up on both sides, then the fuse is blown. Take it out. This, this particular tractor has a relay. Here's a relay here. Maybe this relay is bad. Uh, it's not that much money. It's pretty inexpensive. You can buy one of them and try that. Maybe it got water and it got rusty. You know, we own a lawnmower shop, so we have these relays. So to save time from testing the relay, we'll just go grab one off shelf, plug it in, see if that's a problem. If that's not it, we just take it back off. Here's your solenoid. All right, here's the wire going right from the battery to the solenoid. Should have power there. Now, when you turn the key, you should be able to get this to light up. See? I don't want to take that spark plug wire off so this thing don't start. For video purposes. Now when I hit the key, it should light up. This other side is ground. It ain't going to light up. Just one side. Now, say that lights up, but yet the motor still ain't starting. Well, take your test probe, put it down here by the starter. Hit the key. See if you're getting juice to the starter. 
Maybe your starter's bad. Look at this here. Hey, this ain't good. Look what I just found on this tractor. That's loose. And this thing been starting. But that's the thing to check. See if you're getting voltage all the way through. You may have something as simple as a bad ground. A lot of times they'll take this ground wire and ground it right to the engine. If that, if that engine bolt come loose and that ground is loose, that could be the problem. Trace that ground wire down to the motor and see. Make sure the engine's tight. These are just things you need to check. Check your battery terminals. Make sure battery terminals are tight. They gotta be tight, they gotta be clean. Take them off, sand, sand them with sandpaper, put them back on, they gotta be tight. Everything has to be tight. These connections gotta be tight. If this thing is loose, tighten it up, squeeze it with a pair of pliers, making sure it goes back on tight. A lot of times, just loose connections. Another thing to check, make sure this flywheel's free. We've had these starters where the starter gear jams into the flywheel. It's stuck in there, it's wedged in there. You're hitting the key, it sounds like it wants to start, but it won't. Come over here and give it a wiggle. Is this free? It may be locked up. Maybe the starter's just jammed, maybe you ran it out of oil. But that's just something to check. Looky here, you know what this is? This shutoff valve that mounts to the bottom of the carburetor. Also known as an anti-backfire valve. These things go bad too. If you got a tractor that's running for a while and then just shutting off like the gas is shut off, could be this valve. Got to have 12 volts that run to it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull this one off. It's hooked right to the key switch, this thing. So watch, when I turn the key on one click, see it opens. When you turn the uh, lawnmower off, shuts the gas off. Could be bad, could work like it is working now. And then all of a sudden while you're mowing, it just loses voltage because it could be bad. Got an option, buy a new one, kind of pricey, or cut the tip off, screw it back in if you don't care. Okay, maybe your key switch is bad. Maybe you got a problem with your key switch. I've seen this too. On the back of every key switch, they may look the same, but they're all different. See those letters on there? Those all mean something. G, ground. S, starter. L, lights. M, magneto. B, battery. A lot of times we'll pull that plug off, this will be all rusty and corroded. That may be your problem. It's rusty and corroded, you might need a new uh, key switch or sand it. See, this one's got different configuration here. See, where G is on this one, this one is S for starter. V for battery over here. R, and what else? I can't see that one, that one ain't got nothing there. G, G is for ground over here. Oh, this one got A, a little A I see, that's for accessory. Same with this one. This one's got seven terminals. I see a little B there, A1, accessory one, accessory two, M, magneto, that's your kill, that's your kill wire, that's what kills the motor, S, starter. And there's gotta be a B here for battery, oh yeah, I already said that, B for battery there. Here's a G for ground. Maybe your key switch is bad. All right, with your continuity tester, you can hook it, doesn't matter, one to V and one to S, battery and starter. And then when you turn the key to start, see it lights up. So you know the switch is working, battery to starter. You're getting juice. So then you'll have to search further. Maybe it's the foot switch, maybe it's the fuse. Could be a number of things, you gotta check them all. Another uh, tool for troubleshooting is if you got another battery, you can start from the starter back. So you can eliminate things as you work your way back to the key switch. So you can hook this to ground. Make sure it's a good ground. You get a good ground somewhere. I'm gonna try to ground it here. It's a little difficult sometimes. And then go right to the starter. You're not gonna hurt nothing. All right, it cranks over. I know that starter's good. So now I'm gonna search my way back to the solenoid. Check that. And then if that test's good with the other test I showed you with, the, with Mr. Light, then you gotta keep searching back. And maybe it's the key switch, foot switch, uh, blade switch, or the seat switch. Those are all things to check. 
All right, now you work your way back here to the solenoid now. Maybe the solenoid's bad. If you want to find out how to test solenoid, I have a how-to video on how to test one. But if you do replace it, make sure you replace it with the same part. This is a four-post solenoid. One, two, three, four. This is a three-post solenoid. One, two, three. This one grounds. This has to be grounded for it to work. This one grounds through here. That's why these wires here on this one are black. These are the ground wires. But if I was to swap these wires, it wouldn't make any difference. It'll still start. It's just one has power going to it, and the other one goes to ground. <laughs> See, that sound like it went flying. That's a good video right there. See, and I can switch it back. So the order they're in doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you have the right solenoid if yours is the problem. Okay, we're going to touch a little bit on here with this electric PTO because this electric PTO has the safety built into it. So if this switch is bad, it may think, even though the switch is in, the tractor may think that nobody's sitting on the seat or that the blades are engaged when just in fact the switch is bad. So you have to be sitting on the seat to do this test. Now we turn the key on, lights come on, lights on the dash come on, but it won't start. So what you want to do is pull this out. Now we got to listen real close now. Now I got to be real quiet now and listen. Pull the knob out. Hear that clicking? That's the clutch engaging down there. That clutch is just a big magnet. That's all it is. Hear it? So we know that's working, so it might be something else. Might have a safety switch, or it could be this switch. Now, I'm just telling you to check these things. I'm not saying that's the problem, but it could be. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to unplug the wires going to the clutch. Now, there's a little lock tab here. You're going to have to pry that up and wiggle this out. Now, these can be real hard to separate. We had a hard time getting this one out. We could have did a 10-minute video on pulling it apart. And take your test light, hook it to the terminals, doesn't matter, either or. And see, we got the battery on the seat to act like there's somebody sitting on the seat. And I got the key switch on. And I got my test light on here. And now I'm going to pull the button. I got 12 volts going to the clutch. But that doesn't mean that switch still ain't bad. It could be telling it's on. But that's how you can check to see. Okay, I hope all these little tips and little tidbits that I've given you on these tractors, it helps. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, there's all these tractors are different. They all got all kinds of electronics and stuff on them. These are just basic on some of these basic tractors. So I hope that helps y'all. So say goodbye, Mr. Tesla, to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time in the next video. And what else do you say, Mr. Tesla? And there's your dinner. And there's your dinner.